Ron. I've been to McGonagall's office, and then I had to go to see Hermione. What? McGonagall told me that Ginny's gone missing. They can't find her anywhere. Oh, no! When it gets worse, it's Hermione. She was attacked. She's been petrified. Huh? They found her just like nearly headless Nick, outside moaning Myrtles. Steph is aboard! McGonagall told me that they were doing everything they could to find Ginny. So, I went to see Hermione. I found a piece of paper in her hand. A page torn from an old library book. That must have been what she was doing before she was attacked. What was the page about? It was all about basilisks. They're giant snakes that live for hundreds of years. Apparently, a basilisk can kill people by just staring at them. Anything else? Yeah, spiders don't like them. They run away when a basilisk is near. And there was something else. Hermione had written the word pipes on the page. Pipes? Pipes. That's all, just pipes. Ron! This is it! This is the answer! The monster in the Chamber of Secrets is a basilisk! A giant snake! That's why I've been hearing the voice and nobody else has heard it. It's because I understand parcel tongue. Harry, do you think Ginny might be in the Chamber of Secrets along with that flipping big snake? McGonagall said they searched everywhere in the castle, but no one knows where the chamber is. We've got to find her. OK, so what we need to know is how the basilisk's been getting round the place. A giant snake. Surely someone would have seen it. Pipes! Pipes, Ron! It's been using the plumbing. I've been hearing the voice inside the walls. The entrance to the Chamber of Secrets. What if it's a bathroom? What if it's in Moaning Myrtle's bathroom? OK, so what do we do? The place is crawling with prefects looking for Ginny. I'll go first. You join me in Moaning Myrtle's on the second floor. Flibbity-jibbit. Where did he go? How much is this Wigan Well potion vial? 100 Bertie Bots every flavour beans. Albert Grunion, the inventor of the Dumball. How much is that? 30 Bertie Bots every flavour beans. Ah, Albert Grunion. Where would we be without his outstanding contribution to explosive dung? The limited edition Bertie Bot card. What does that cost? 30 Bertie Bots every flavour beans. Bertie Bot, an excellent purchase, Harry. His real genius was in the invention of the unreleased dog spit flavoured bean. Take a look around, Potter. Is there anything here that interests you? Feel free to spend as long as you like here. If there's anything you'd like to know about, just ask.
you, Harry Potter. What do you want this time? To ask how you died. Oh, it was dreadful. It happened right here. I did it because Olive Hornby was teasing me about my glasses. I was crying when I heard someone come in. It was a boy, and he began speaking a different language. I went to tell him to go to use his own bathroom, and then I died. But how? I just remember seeing these great big eyes. Where exactly did you see the eyes? Over there, by the sinks. Harry, say something! Something in parcel tongue! But, go on, Harry. Okay then, uh, open up. English? She won't wake. She's still alive, but only just. Tom? Tom Riddle? You've got to help me, Tom. We've got to get her out of here. There's a basilisk and it could be along at any moment. The basilisk won't come until it's called. Let me tell you about the real reason Ginny's like this. She's been writing in the diary. My diary for months. I grew stronger and stronger on a diet of her deepest fears until I had enough power to start pouring a little of my soul back into her. What do you mean? Ginny Weasley opened the Chamber of Secrets. She daubed threatening messages on the walls and set the Serpent of Slytherin on the mudbloods and nearly headless Nick. No! I'm afraid so. Ginny told me all about you, Harry. So I decided to show you my famous capture of that great oaf Hagrid to gain your trust. You framed Hagrid! Yes. But you, Harry Potter, how is it that you managed to defeat the greatest wizard of all time? Why do you care? Haven't you realized yet? I am Lord Voldemort, the greatest sorcerer in the world! Sorry to disappoint you in all that, but the greatest sorcerer in the world is Albus Dumbledore. Dumbledore's been driven out of Hogwarts by the mere memory of me. He's not as gone as you might think! To business, Harry. I'm going to teach you a little lesson. Let's match the powers of Lord Voldemort, heir of Salazar Slytherin, against the famous Harry Potter.
by Harry Potter. Kill him. to beat Slytherin. I'd really love to see Malfoy's face if we managed to do it two years in a row. Well, when you're ready, Harry, we'll go in. Oh, Harry, I'll never forget what you did for me. That was so amazing. Mum says that you can come and visit us any time you like at the borrow. I can't wait. I'm so looking forward to coming back to Hogwarts next year. If you like, you could tell me all about what it's like to be a second year. Oh, Harry, I'll never forget what you did for me. That was so amazing. You may believe, Potter, that
that everyone at Hogwarts is impressed with your so-called heroics in the Chamber of Secrets. But not me. I am not impressed at all. Why don't you run along and be heroic somewhere else, Potter? I am deeply saddened to see that Gryffindor need more house points if they are to win the House Cup. You may believe, Potter, that everyone at Hogwarts is impressed with your second Ow! 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 But not me. yet, Harry. I bet there's some still hiding around Hogwarts. Did you complete your famous Witches and Wizards card collection yet, Harry? I bet there's some still hiding around Hogwarts. we come to the end of another most eventful year at Hogwarts. And so, for their many achievements and outstanding commitment to the school, it is with great pleasure that I present the House Cup to Gryffindor. quarter of an hour, he spoke into the rapt silence. He told them about hearing the disembodied voice. How Hermione had finally realized that he was hearing a basilisk in the pipes. How he and Ron, following a hint from Hagrid, had followed the spiders into the forest. That Aragog had told them where the last victim of the basilisk, 50 years before, had died. How he had guessed that Moaning Myrtle had been the victim, and that the entrance to the Basilisk's lair, the Chamber of Secrets, might be in her bathroom. But how did you all get out of there alive? Well, it all had to do with loyalty and friendship. And courage. <laughs> Harry, you can't forget that. Yes, and courage too. Professor Dumbledore explained that 50 years ago, Lord Voldemort, as the 16-year-old Tom Riddle had enchanted his diary, and that diary had enchanted Ginny. For it was Lucius Malfoy who had planted Tom Riddle's diary on the hapless Ginny Weasley. And as for Harry, well, once again, he truly was the boy who lived.
We've come to the end of another most eventful year at Hogwarts. And so, for their ability to accumulate the greatest number of house points this year, I present the House Cup to Slytherin. You may believe, Potter, that everyone at Hogwarts is impressed with your so-called heroics in the Chamber of Secrets. But not me. I am not impressed at all. Why don't you run along and be heroic somewhere else, Potter? I am deeply saddened to see that Gryffindor need more house points if they are to win the House Cup. Oh, Harry, I'll never forget what you did for me. That was so amazing. Mum says that you can come and visit us any time you like at Borrow. I can't wait. I'm so looking forward to coming back to Hogwarts next year. If you like, you could tell me all about what it's like to be a second year. Hey, Harry, that was brilliant. Opening the Chamber of Secrets and everything. I know I couldn't have done it. Actually, if it wasn't for you, I'd still be stuck behind that tapestry. My gran says that I shouldn't forget to remember where I keep my remember all. Oh, bother. I've forgotten again. Have you ever seen a toad in a hole? Trevor has. I'm so pleased that horrible basilisk is gone. It was making a terrible mess of my perfectly miserable bathroom. So lonely in here, and I appreciate you coming to see me. But do you think it's wise that you spend so much time visiting the girls' bathroom? Don't you have better things to do, Harry? I was just getting perfectly lonely and miserable until you came in. <sighs> you did really well against the Basilisk, Harry. Your father would have been very proud. Loyalty is a virtue, Harry. Never forget that. Bad leadership is all about being more single-minded than others. Good leadership is all about eating large quantities of cake. Nice one, Potter. Always said there was something about you. Ever considered a career in the Ministry of Magic? If anyone tells you anything about Penelope Clearwater, an, an empty classroom and me, well, it's a complete fabrication. I was merely helping her with her uh, charms. 
Good one, Potter. Keep it up. I have returned. The world will be purged of all bad bloods and non-magical people. I, Lord Voldemort, will conquer all...